Keto snacks just got better because cereal school now has cheese puffs. And we'll see if this schoolyard snack makes it easy to be cheesy right, right after, after this. this. I'm Rachel and I'm Joe and we're two, two crazy, crazy ketos. ketos if you're new to our channel welcome here on two crazy ketos we do different things like recipe videos we do product reviews we talk about various keto topics and then every Monday we sit down on the couch for keto on the couch we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week you can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook Instagram and Twitter and we have a website which is two crazy and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes now we do upload at least five new videos every single week so make sure you subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it i'm super excited about this one look we're so excited rachel joined us back for this product review oh i'm not missing this because it's cheese puffs and i have been missing cheese puffs and cheese covered fingers i loved cheese puffs before keto and so cereal school have actually changed their name. They're now on their website, Schoolyard Snacks, because oh, so. it fits in perfect with this. Yeah, because, and it's not just cereal. Right. And uh, they have come out with cheese puffs. I love this box. So on the one side, it says Schoolyard Snacks, and then this says Old School Snacks Made the New Way. It's very vintage looking. It I love it. It kind of looks like something, Look at this. something you would find in Cracker Barrel, like in their old country yes, store, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, they've come out with these things. We we absolutely love cereal school cereal it's a great cereal although we use it as an on-the-go snack the movies or on top of ice cream because what's great about it is it has a very low total carb yep for the snack yeah so and it comes in individual bags and we love that and honestly it's very generous in its portion size now this is available we'll talk about when we get to the price but you can get uh, boxes of 12 24 or 48 they have two flavors so of course we're trying both flavors we're gonna put this off to the side this is burn your face off burn one. your face what is that spicy flaming, flaming hot. hot and flaming hot cheetos were always one of my favorite things me too and then we've got your traditional cheddar cheese which one are we going with first i don't think we'll be able to taste anything with if that this is so we're gonna go here first flaming hot okay and so i have my drink we will go over the nutrition after you get to it. Oh my gosh, it looks just like Aww. a Cheeto or a cheese puff. It's a. I guess it's, it's a, a cross between a Cheeto and a cheese puff. They're a little bit smaller. Because but. they're they're small, but they're not round. Okay, I'm gonna put this up for the camera. Hopefully, you can see that. Wow. Oh. They. Nailed it. Wow. I'm going to tell you right now, it's as if they generously dumped the entire like flavoring packet of the box macaroni and cheese onto this cheese puff. They nailed it. Yep. And mm. cheese fingers. I got a cheese finger. Oh my gosh. They nailed this. That is cheesy. And there was a lot in this. It's about the same size, maybe slightly bigger. I guess, no, about the same size yeah. as the cereal. But it's but not it's full. It's not like there's, there's just a lot. more than half a bag of air. Yeah. Okay. I'll be saving that one for I just later. licked my finger. I'm so happy. Okay, here we go. Flaming hot. I'm going to prepare myself. Can you smell it? Is it really hot or is it like fake hot? There's a tingle in my nose. Oh my. Look at how dark that is. Am I gonna taste after this? All right, you ready? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hot. That is hot. That is so good. <laughs> I'm gonna like cough. Red fingers, red fingers. I want to eat. What is it about hot stuff that makes you want to eat more of it? That is amazing. I'm absolutely eating this even though it's a total terrible mistake because it's super hot. That is amazing. 
amazing. Five things. Five things. If you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutritional label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend this? I need like a fire extinguisher for my mouth. Number one, the ingredients. Rachel's burning her face off, so I'll take care of this. So I got the cheese one here. Ingredients are milk protein isolate, high oleic sunflower oil, natural flavors, cheddar powder, yeast extract, vegetable juice for color, tapioca fiber, salt, keto sweetener blend, which is allulose and monk fruit, and then lactic acid. There's only one different ingredient in this. Guess what it is? Cayenne pepper. Is that what it is? And they have not been stingy with it. Yeah, the ingredients are pretty good. Now, we're gonna talk about the sunflower oil real quick because I've been doing a lot of research on sunflower oil. Is it the greatest oil in the world? No, but one of the problems with sunflower oil is always the omega-3 to omega-6. Okay. Causes inflammation. High oleic is they've increased the omega-3s. So, I'm not too worried about that in here, okay? It's not canola oil. It doesn't cause the inflammation in canola oil and stuff like that, you know? But if you're gonna have something other than avocado oil, coconut oil, something like that, high oleic sunflower oil is gonna be a much better choice. And Thomas Delora has actually done a video on this as well. I can barely concentrate on what you're saying because I'm so excited about what is on number two. Number two, which, which is, is the, the label. What's on the ingredients? Does it keto based on a nutrition label? Yeah. That thing. I'm totally blown away. Okay. Listen to these nutrition facts. One bag is a serving, of course, because yes. 100 calories per serving. The whole bag. The whole bag is 100 calories. Total fat, 4.5 grams. Total protein, 13 grams. Listen to this total carb count on these Hot Cheetos. Two. Two total carbs. This one's even better. No, it's not one. 100 total calories for the whole bag. And this is, I mean, come on. How many people out there have ever bought 100 calorie snacks, yes. free keto, and you get like three no, chips? No, exactly. This is the whole bag. Yeah. Okay, 100 calories, five total fat, 14 grams of protein, one total carb one total carb and now it does say zero grams of allulose which it is the very last ingredients is allulose slash monk fruit which means it's got a very very tiny amount of allulose not enough less than one gram because they can register it as zero so yeah. even if you want to go off the limb and say you know what maybe it's got a half a gram of allulose yeah you're what one and a half to two total, total carbs, carbs. Total carbs. This has become my new snack. For a 100 calorie snack. So yeah, you're packing a picnic. You're going with a friend who's not keto at all. Even if they were Movies. on like a, a low calorie diet. This is the one to, Movies. to bring. Movies. Movies. Think about, you can take two of these to the movies. You can take three of these to the movies and not feel it. How many calories is a tub of popcorn at the movies? Yeah. Ser oh my gosh, you don't even want to get into that. Right? It's like thousands. Right? So you, I would not feel guilty taking three of these and going, you know what? I'm going to have at it during the movies. Well, and here you go. 300 calories and still only like Three six total carbs at most per six. At, I mean, and that that's really stretching it. I, I'm going to say probably four and a half. But again, it's got to be less than a half a gram of allulose for it to be registering a zero. That is but crazy. But I'm, I'm just like, I'm saying like, just let's go overboard. And good luck bringing more than one bag of this unless you got two faces to blow off. Number three. How does it taste? Okay, so here's the thing. I have tasted a lot of keto cheese snacks. Yeah. And a lot of them were good. Like we've yeah. tried like shrewd foods, they were good. They're all protein puffs, which these, I guess you can say technically they're a protein thing. They are very high in protein, mm -hmm. right? Um, this is the best tasting one I've had. The cheese one is the greatest. Like this should absolutely replace anything like any of the kids are eating because I feel like this is better than Cheeto. Mm -hmm. And the consistency is between a puff and like a cheese straw because right. it is so dense. Now, one thing I did want to say when we're talking about taste, I'm trying to get a big one so I can break a nap. So again, one of the biggest problems with protein puffs, things like that. It's not on the no inside. No flavor on the inside. And so when we go inside, 
It is white on the inside with lots of orange on the outside, but you can see there is so much seasoning in here. It's actually permeating into the inside of it. So you want to show it? I don't know if it'll come through. Yeah. So there's just so much that even if there's no flavoring on the inside, there's so much on the outside, you're not going to ever have a bite without flavor. It is caked on. Just mm -hmm. absolutely caked on with seasoning, which I love. I want I want my snacks caked with seasoning. It definitely it tastes as good as the original cheese puffs we used to have. And if you liked Flaming Hot Cheetos, that's the identical flavor. I feel like it's a little hotter. The difference where you're going to have this between the other ones, the, 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 the horrible ones, right? Yeah. Is the texture. I'm going back again. This think is about the original Cheetos or cheese puffs, not Cheetos. But as soon as you put them in your mouth, they were like styrofoam peanuts and they melted, yeah. right? Yeah. These are not going to melt. They're going, you're going to get a crunch, which I like. So it's a cross between a Cheeto and a cheese puff. That's Does why, that make sense? Yeah, and that's why we've always liked their product as a topping for ice cream because even when you get down to the bottom of your ice cream and you still have some floating around, they're not like, you know, withered down to nothing and right. all all wet and soggy. They hold their crunch and that's what makes them kind of awesome. Still, since we're on taste, it even has the vinegar back. Oh, taste. right, right. Not just the hot, but you know, like there's a vinegary taste to a flaming hot Cheeto, and they've got that as well. Well, you're doing that. Number four, how much do they cost? I got the website up here. Oh. Okay. So you have a couple of different options here. I feel like I can smell the neighbors. Okay, so we is. have select a bundle. You can go one flavor, 12 bags. If you choose that option, it's going to be $30 for 12 bags. It works out to $2.50 a bag. Are you okay over there? I can smell like all of the houses around us because my sinuses are so open now. I, that's, I love that feeling. <sighs> Next option would be one flavor, 24 bags. And I would tell you, don't bother with the 12 bags. They give you a money back guarantee. If you don't like them, They'll give you your money back. Don't you love that? There's a significant difference in the price between 12 bags and 24 bags, probably because of shipping and stuff. So the 12 bags was $2.50 a bag. Buying 24 bags, $2.08 a bag. Big it's difference. A, it's a big difference. So it's 50 bucks. That's $5 per 12 bags. Subscribe and save drops it to $1.87 a bag. You can get the you can get the 24 bag two ways. 12, 24 bags of one flavor, uh -huh. or you can get 12 and 12. Same price. And like, and they last a long time. I mean, this is May to 2021. Year, over a year. So you got time if you want to just save them like you would eat those meat sticks. You're not saving them. Okay. <laughs> then last option, two flavors, 48 bags. Works out, it's $90. You can do it the way you want it. Like you can get 48 bags, $1.87 a bag. Subscribe and save drops it to $1.69 a bag. And their subscribe and save, we've used it for their cereal. You can push it like, you know, 15 days, 30 days, 45 days out. If it's coming up and you're like, hey, I don't need any more right now, you can hit pause on it. So it's a great way to save some money and get a good snack. And you can get the cereal, you can get this kind of stuff. And again, if you don't like it, send it back. Subscribe and save options are every 15, every 30, every 45 days, okay? 30 days, risk-free, love it, or you'll get a full refund. Number five, would we recommend this? I would definitely recommend it with the tack on of you get your money back if you don't like it. So maybe if you don't have the same taste buds we do, it really is a no risk thing. I'm honestly gonna say this is but, probably, as of right now, we've tried a lot over yeah. the last three years, hands down my favorite keto snack. I know we talk about not snacking, but if you want to crunch on your on your salad, you want to go to the movies with something. So many, I'm thinking about like forget having like you want to get wisps or moon yeah. cheese. This is but way better than that. But you get like five of them in a bag and you just blew 300 calories and there's a couple of carbs and I'm going to tell you this, this hands down for me is beets keto farms is my new snack oh wow okay so that's a brave you get a lot snack. for 100 calories and one total carb well i have for for the price for like two dollars in the two dollar range when i'm trying to like save my keto farms you know for for a fancy time 
I will go into Walmart and get like the real dense moon cheese salad toppers. They're they around they're about two two fifty because I want a more dense cheese snack. And these are way more flavorful than less those. Less calories, less, less calories, carbs, and less you carbs. Get more. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Great um, for kids. I recommend both flavors. Only if you are way into hot stuff. This is no kidding. I don't know if you can see the sweat on my upper lip, but not it is as hot there. as the pork rinds, though. It is right there, though. For me, it was I don't right find there. It that hot, I it is it is it was very close. If you liked the flaming hot Cheetos, You'll love you're these. gonna like those. But it, this is a double dog dare, also for for the people you love. This is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you've ever had any of the Cereal School products. If you have, let us know what your favorite flavor is. Rachel's is peanut butter. Yes. Mine is the cookies and cream. I'd also like to know if they continue doing like the cheese snack line, what are some other flavors that you would like to see in this line as well? Yeah. Now, if you are gonna order any of these, we'd greatly appreciate it. If you would use the link down below, it does help out the channel. But while you're doing that, make sure you hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we like blow our face off with hot Cheetos, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.